many times I have covered the theoretical aspect of charging, grounding, starting system and power distribution. Today we will see it physically how it is integrated with other components in the vehicle. We will start from the tractor and we will cover all the type of vehicles like cars, tractor, uh, trucks and the commercial vehicle as well. So as you can see that this vehicle is a tractor and this is our battery. So when I talk about the packaging of the component then first question comes in our mind that why this particular battery is placed in the uh, you know this side uh, why we cannot put in the front or rear or the other side of the vehicle as well. So this decision making of the location of component is called packaging. And packaging has many factors to consider the location of the component. We need to decide the component location based on maximum output means maximum benefit in terms of costing, safety, serviceability and so on. We will cover this particular topic packaging aspect in a different video. Let's start with the grounding topic. As you can see, there are two terminals of battery. One is positive and other one is negative. The identification marks are given in the battery. However, you cannot see it here as vehicle is very old so still you can find out the grounding or negative by seeing the wire color that is black black is used for grounding purpose and this wire is mounted on the engine block or body which is making the zero volt reference on this point if you want to take any ground connection for other system you do not need to give the grounding from the battery negative terminal directly you can give directly and uh, that particular grounding at any point of this engine block as it is a metal body and it's making the connection uh, at every point uh, of the uh, vehicle and it is making zero volt. We, whenever you give the connection on this body, it becomes zero volt and will complete the circuit. Similarly, we give the grounding in the cars or as well uh, where we put in on chassis or BIW. Now we will see the battery positive terminal from where the power distribution starts. Uh, battery positive wires comes in the red color as you can see that the wire is going to the other side and you can see the other side it is coming out of um, you know the side of the starter motor and the control grounding aspect many times in my theoretical video and you can see that particular ground uh, is uh, you know given on the body of the particular vehicle that is tractor and my question is now wherever you give this uh, the grounding for any other load okay in this particular vehicle then it will uh, you know give you the purpose or will uh, um, give you the solution of completing the circuit so in that particular video i have told you uh, in earlier video that we have to complete our circuit from positive to negative and when you have given this negative on this particular bodies or chassis then anywhere you give this grounding in your whole vehicle then it will serve the purpose of completing the circuit so i hope you understood the concept of grounding in vehicle also in car or truck also we give the uh, particular grounding point in such a way that that it completes or it gives the uh, circuit a grounding circuit to each and every load now we will see the uh, positive terminal of the battery and how it is going you can see this is your positive uh, wire and it is going the other side of the vehicle and we will see how it is going and why it is going on the other side so let me go on the other side so if you see here this is the wire this is the wire which is coming from the positive side of the battery or positive terminal from the battery to our starter motor so this is our starter motor you can see and starter motor I told you the starter motor purpose is to start your engine and this pinion gear is integrated with this engine uh, shaft and engine crank shaft and it will rotate the uh, crank shaft to give the minimum rotation to start your engine but before that if you see uh, here the starter motor has two parts 
so one is this solenoid this we call it solenoid and this is called starter motor the starter motor uh, uh, gives the minimum rotation but what is the function of this solenoid so solenoid also works as uh, giving the uh, switching the starter motor and why we are using the solenoid here to start the motor why we cannot use the relay so this is my question to you that you have to find out uh, or you have to comment in the comment box that what is the difference between the relay and the solenoid why we cannot give the relay and why we cannot uh, you know switch the starter motor from the relay what is the reason for that uh, because both are the switching purpose this is so we have understood that till here we will get the power positive the power supply from the battery and it is mounted on a starter motor now we will see i have as i have already told you many times that in our system when we have the ic engine so two power source we have one is the generator or we call it alternator this is the alternator and second one is the battery supply so battery supply we have understood till here that we are getting the battery supply to start the motor to start the starter motor to crank our engine now we will see the alternator we have this alternator you can see this is mounted on a uh, uh, engine you can see here it is mounted on this bracket we call it bracket on this there are different different bracket also we will take this thing in detail sometimes how to create particular bracket for mounting of uh, mm, mm, alternator you can see here this is the alternator bracket which is mounted mm, and our alternator is mounted on this so this is our um, belt uh, uh, which is connected from this particular pulley to here and once it will rotate it will generate our electricity once so most of the time that alternator gives a power supply to the battery and there is no other source to charge the battery the alternator provides the power to the battery and to the our accessories so if you see the connection here we have here two terminals one is very small terminal and other one is the big one so this big one terminal actually is the power supply output which is connected to our starter motor so we will understand how this particular alternator is charging our battery so if you see here this this is the output uh, of the alternator and it is connected through our starter motor so you might be having one question why it is connected to the starter motor why we cannot connect directly to the battery so see if you uh, uh, you know already we have this uh, power supply uh, cable from the battery and if you want to take the separate wire then you have to take one wire from here to that particular end of the battery and it will take you the more cost so how it is connected this power output is connected to the starter motor and you know that this cable already we have connected to the battery so how it is charging from here to here it is flowing the current and after that it is connected to our battery through the same cable we have no need to put the one extra cable so we are saving the cost here so this is the process of charging the battery now we will understand this particular one other terminal as well why we have given this other terminal so there are different different requirement so why this particular cable is there so you can see here we have this uh, bulb connected to this particular wire so how you will know that particular alternator is working fine and it is charging the battery so we will see right now that how it is charging the battery and how you will come to know whether it is charging or alternator is in good condition or not so till now we have understood this particular terminal that how it is charging 
uh, our battery and it will give the supply to the accessory also but as you know this is a tractor and we do not have much accessories and the fuse box so i will show you some of the fuse box connections and other things as well if i get in this tractor uh, but we will try to understand this particular connection here uh, so as i told you this particular connection is connected to this particular bulb so i am just uh, uh, you know putting uh, the key and i will just give one rotation to this this is a uh, call our ignition switch as i told you many times what are the positions in this particular ignition switch we have on off and uh, accessories and then uh, start off so if you see here uh, once i uh, put this particular uh, in this uh, location or i uh, just i rotated this particular switch so how, what happened this bulb is started uh, uh, you know uh, glowing so what it does mean that it means that your uh, alternator uh, is not charging your battery this time this is the meaning of this so however this is the tractor this is a low cost vehicle so here it is so like this but when you go to the commercial vehicle or the car you will see there would be a telltale of battery where you will see that symbol when you put your vehicle into the uh, you know on or accessory mode so this is the uh, accessory uh, you know uh, uh, location or the uh, you can say the position of that particular ignition switch and when i will start this particular uh, uh, you know vehicle then this bulb should be uh, you know switch off why it should it should switch off because my alternator will start uh, charging the battery the purpose of this bulb or this particular terminal is to so that uh, this particular uh, alternator is charging our battery or not if it is uh, off then it means that your uh, alternator is working fine but if it is not off then it means that uh, your alternator is not working fine so let me crank it and let me see So I hope you understood and once I uh, you know uh, switch off or um, I stop my vehicle then it uh, start glowing again. It means that your alternator is not working right now and 